So today's video is games to play, two games to play, etc, etc. Um, in the tradition, I've kept it to be a home console and a portable game, handheld. Um, try to think a little out of the box. I mean, at the same time, I'm I'm trying to obviously keep it that it's games that I'm actually playing. Um, I could sit here and I could test, you know, two games every two weeks, um, but it just wouldn't wouldn't be honest. I have to, I'm I'm keeping it to games that I'm actually playing. Um, it's spurring me on to play the games that I have. Um, it's a nice it's a nice feeling. It's a nice thing um, to encourage me to play the stuff I have. Obviously, as collectors, unfortunately, we don't always get the time. Don't always have the motivation. Um, I do have a couple of nice pickups uh, for Friday. Obviously, that's in a couple of days' time. I was very tempted to bring them out for today. Um, not amazing. Um, not groundbreaking or anything like that. Um, but yeah, very happy with them. Um, so yeah, hope you like the games. Um, that I've selected uh, and yeah let's crack on okay guys so uh, first game that we've got today is Fortnite only joking <laughs> um, yeah let's play the actual game now okay so um, <laughs> already already into it um, today's game is the division 2 um, this was actually a free game that I got off the PlayStation Plus uh, subscription. So you need the monthly games that you get. Um, it's really good. I, I actually have the first one, I played the first one a lot with my friend. Um, we got quite far. Um, the only unfortunate thing is it is online only. Um, there is a story mode online. Um, but really we wanted to do it together. So at the minute I'm, um, I've been playing like kind of like side missions and things like that and little bits and pieces that he's not necessarily bothered about uh, when we play. So it's mainly um, that I do all the little bits and pieces to satisfy my own kind of Easter egg hunt um, scavenger type needs. Um, and yeah, the graphics are amazing. Um, the is. I don't want to say it's not immersive, it is. Um, I think one thing that partially stops it is the fact that there's no jumping. It sounds a bit weird, um, especially with a modern game. You don't necessarily need it. I think it grounds it a bit more by the fact that it is... Um, it is limited in that respect. I mean, obviously, you can hop over things like what I've just done. Um, So, um, so that's what I mean, I just stopped talking there because that, it's not easy, it's not an easy game, but it's not, it's not so difficult that it, it puts you off playing it. Um, I found the last one really enjoyable. Um, you can play against other players if you want to. Um, and with this one, they do, they have tried really hard with the story. Um, it is all about a virus, um, basically the world pretty much ending, and then there's these groups um, of people like rebels and things or um, the, the division which is what they're called and basically meant to be like the best of the best oh dear ran totally into him straight away um, but yeah I mean I don't I, I don't often get a chance to play a lot of different games. I have to be very specific and choice with what I play. But with this, I'm more than happy to play because it is something that you can pretty much pick up and play easily without having to feel like that you've lost out on the story. I'll be honest, the story, it does follow, but you don't necessarily feel like that you've lost anything if you don't play it for like, I don't know, a month or something like that, um, it doesn't prevent you from progressing. Um, the fact that you can customise things, you've got a map, you know, it's very much like Grand Theft Auto, but without cars in a lot of respects. Um, but the attention to detail for me is the best thing. The very best. Thing. Okay, so as it seems to be a bit of a pattern, um, didn't want to break that tradition at the moment. 
um basically i've done my uh console and now i'm going to do my um handheld um so mario brothers on the game and watch it is the original um and it is one of my prized possessions um i did mention this in a previous video of mine of uh, one of my favorite gaming items that i have um so as you can see this is what the condition is like Very nice, very, very nice. Um, from 1983, says right there. So I've already put the batteries in, that's why it looks like that. So I've gone with game A. And I've just been playing this, um, kind of like a little bit of a pick up and play in terms of um, something to break the monotony. You can't pause it. Um, you can see in the top right there that it keeps the count of what you've got going on. So every time that you pass the blocks, you just have to get them up, get them to the truck, get it gone. That's it. So it doesn't, for me, I mean, it doesn't, it's not necessarily having to be Mario Brothers. It could be anybody. Um, but obviously it was, it was just there for the namesake uh, back in the day. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I played this to death when I was in primary school. Um, a friend of mine had it. And um, I was not fortunate enough to have one. Um, but um, yeah, this was passed around and absolutely loved it. So um, as I mentioned as well, got this when I was a teenager off eBay. It was one of my first eBay purchases, this and Donkey Kong. Um, so yeah, as you can see, not a lot else to say really. I mean, the graphics are amazing in terms of what it is. It's an LED game. Um, well, let me go be quick so it gets a bit quicker and that's when it starts to get good you have to go through the same pattern every time and i think my height oh there we go got a bit complacent there oh, i'm getting told off a lot so i think my high score is something like two three hundred and something oh <laughs> you wouldn't believe it at the minute though geez um but yeah honestly the the amount of all of the little bits and pieces, the little details that are in this game, um, that for me is what's important in a game, um, is all all the details, things that you don't necessarily notice. So yeah, happy with that. So yeah, so that's what we've got. Um, so two games to play on a Wednesday every two weeks. Um, hope you like this week, lucky number three. Um, Let's keep it going. I'll see you in the next one.